Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. I recently, you know, shopped at Sephora, the Sephora sale, and I got a lot of stuff. If you didn't see my haul, it'll be up in the cards because it was such a fun little haul. And I got so many things that I wanted to try out. Some of these aren't like first first impressions, but they're new products in my collection that I haven't really tried out that much. So I thought I would just put them in this video as well. I also decided to make this a full face of cream products except for, you know, the eyeshadow. But I'm just, just look at my skin. Like, just just wait till you see it is so like ugh. and yeah before I end this video I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video I upload every other day on YouTube I would also love for you to head over to my Instagram show me some love there follow me there I post every single day and yeah let's get into this first impressions so I do have a new moisturizer to test out and I'm gonna put this on first so I could do my eye makeup and all that and it could really soak into my skin so this is the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer so excited to try this out i've heard nothing but great things about this moisturizer i did say in my haul that i felt like this was a little small like when i see other people holding it on camera and stuff like on our instagram stories i just thought it looked a little bit bigger but it is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and try this out so i thought it would feel a little bit like the juno and co moonshine miracle cream it does feel pretty thick just like that but it's not as thick and i know a lot of people don't like thick moisturizers i don't really care as long as it's hydrating but so far i am really liking this let's see how it makes my skin feel after it soaks in for a while though i like the packaging of this by the way totally obsessed with neon and see-through neon that is super cool okay next i also have a lip balm this is the sol de janeiro brazilian kiss lip butter i only bought this because of the smell i did say that in my haul but i'm dying to try this out it smells just like the bum bum cream. If you haven't smelled the bum bum cream, you need to. I say this in every video. I'm obsessed with it. A lot of people are complaining that it was a little too pricey for what you get. Like you can buy a chapstick for like a dollar or 50 cents or whatever. And this is just a little pricey. So I'm definitely wondering if it's worth the money. But I'm gonna let that soak into my lips while I do the rest of my makeup as well. Okay, I do have an eyebrow product to try out, and this wasn't in my Sephora VAB so haul. I just got this in PR. Urban Decay sent this over to me. This is the Urban Decay Inked Brow. It claims to stay in place for 60 hours, which is insane. So I got the shades. What shades did I get? Soft, medium brown, and auburn. I'm not sure why they sent me auburn. Definitely don't have red hair does seem a little too red for me. I'm definitely gonna try this one out. I'll probably put this one in a giveaway. It says, meet ink brows on my permanent brow gel that lasts up to 60 hours for waterproof arches that are smudge proof and sweat resistant. So I am not gonna lie to you. I'm a little scared of that. It's actually 60 hours. What if I mess up? I'm scared. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is what it looks like. It's really small and it kind of looks like it's just an eyebrow gel, but when you open it, it's not. It has a different kind of wand and I'm not sure that I am a huge fan of that. I might take it on my brush, but we're gonna try this out using the soap technique. Got my soap here, put some water on it. Oh gosh, what did I do? <laughs> Let's see, I'm a little nervous. What if I mess up? I'm gonna go ahead and take my disposable spoolie and just kind of create a paste, brush my eyebrows upwards. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. I'm a little scared because the wand looks a little fat. So if I don't like the wand, I'll probably end up just using my eyebrow brush but i'm just gonna go ahead and start making like hair like strokes hopefully the color is good oh yeah that's a good color so i'm just gonna keep making hair like strokes to match my like fluffy brow situation i'm not sure i like this packaging i don't know why my hand is shaking i'm like actually nervous i like to do a line under just to make them a little bit more precise. So I'm not sure about this wand. I'm gonna try it on my brush. Now I'm just gonna grab a little bit from the wand on my brush. I'm not like a huge fan of like gel-based formulas whatsoever for eyebrows. So this is totally throwing me off and I'm not even sure if I'm using this right. I still don't know about this. What do you guys think? Okay, so after doing my brows on the other side, I feel like the best way to apply it is directly from the wand and just kind of like doing flicking like really quickly, like whatever messy. And I did find that if I got out of line, I was able to just rub it off and it came off really quickly. I'm curious to see how long these last. I want to do a wear test today. I don't have a new eyeshadow palette. 
to test out today. But the newest one in my collection and the one that I have used the least is the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette. I did get this at TJ Maxx for $19.99. I think originally this is $42, $45, I don't remember. I've used this maybe once. I definitely want to give it another go. So the first shade I'm going to take is Belie, which is this bright purple. Oh, I'm so excited to see how this one works. But this is going to go all over my crease. I'm going to really pack this on as well as the outer corner and like a cat eye kind of situation we'll see and i'm also taking like a really dense brush to be able to do that okay so that purple shade packed on so freaking beautifully i'm gonna stay like this i promise and they're actually kind of uneven but i'll fix that later on so i'm gonna take the shade texas made and this is like a pink shade obviously you can see and it's gonna go right on top of the purple and i'm just gonna blend out the purple with the pink there is a lot of fallout with this though like obviously mattes especially colorful vibrant mattes are going to be super hard to formulate without any fallout so okay and lastly i'm going to take the yellow to blend out the pink this looks really crumbly and like it has a lot of fallout so this is wow okay let's see i have honestly never seen a yellow that crumbly like let me show you my palette right now it is insane where like how it got everywhere but i mean i've never seen a yellow that isn't crumbly so it happens and it's super pigmented so that's probably why i'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this mess up with a makeup wipe so i'm gonna take the makeup wipe and just like make sure this is super sharp as sharp as i want it to be i'm also going to use it to start cutting my crease to make it a little bit more precise this just helps like you know the cut crease process so i do this every single time i do a cut crease so that's good enough for now i'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease i love using the anastasia you know i don't know what brush this is what brush number but once i figure it out i'll have it linked in the description because it's so good it's perfect it's the perfect cut crease brush i use the p louise base to cut my crease and a mix of concealer because i just can't use the p louise base on its own personally i just think it's a little I don't know, patchy sometimes. So I just kind of mix it in with some concealer. All right, this might be one of the best cut creases I've ever done, to be honest, how weird. For the overall lid shade, I'm gonna take the white shade in the palette. This is the shade Headliner. And I'm just gonna place that everywhere, but I'm gonna put something in like the outer corner so it's not so boring. I wish this palette had like a white with sparkle. Well, it does not, but that is a really pigmented white shadow. Wow. Now I'm just gonna do the outer corner, just put a little bit more purple. Okay, next I'm gonna take the same pink I took in the crease and just buff that into the purple. Basically, I'm just gonna take all three shades I took in the crease and put them in the outer corner of the lid okay so that's it for the eyes i'm gonna come back to do my under eyes in a little bit i'm pretty obsessed with how this turned out it's total summer sunset vibes anyway moving on to the face i do have a new primer to test out i've tried it a couple of times i'm not gonna lie but i haven't tried it enough to tell you whether i like it or not this is the urban decay all nighter face primer i did get to sent this in pr i'm not really sure what the claims are but it does say long wear foundation grip preps smooths and perfects there you go it feels really nice though it feels like a moisturizer honestly i hope it's a pore minimizer as well because your girl has some pretty big pores the more i rub it in the more it's gonna peel so i'm gonna stop that okay for foundation i definitely don't have a new one to test out or anything but this is a new shade and i haven't used this one in a while because it's in storage so i don't have it with me this is the hourglass banish seamless foundation stick i also have the concealer so i'm gonna be testing that out because i've never used that one before but the face is gonna be a full face of cream products and i'm super excited because i live for cream products i hope this gives me a nice glow i hope this matches me this is the shade shell it might be a little dark for me but i prefer my foundations to look a little bit darker just personally but yeah let me just put this all over my face i remember really liking this but look, oh my gosh, you can already see my pores. It definitely accentuates the pores. So I do have to use a pore filling primer usually. So I don't know if this primer is going to be a good fit for this particular foundation. It's hard to, it's going to be hard to say, but I do want to do a check-in later on. I'm just kind of showing you guys where everything is. Oh, this is definitely more my color than the one I had before. The one I had before made me look like Casper. I think I got like the lightest shade and I'm like, girl, you are not the lightest shade. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> but hopefully this works with this primer because otherwise I'm gonna look crazy all day. I definitely have to blend this down my neck just to make sure it matches everything and 
make sure it's all good. Oh, I prefer using a brush, by the way, with stick foundations. This is the Morphe Y7 brush. Absolute favorite foundation brush. One, I use foundation brushes, which is not that often, to be honest. I'd rather use a liquid foundation. And let's see. So this is the shade Birch in the concealer. Super excited to try this out. I did mention in my haul ooh, that I swatched this in the store once and I just like I thought it was so heavy and so full coverage oh I really like the applicator it's a very thin but it's a paddle applicator oh I love it I also feel like this might be a little too light for me so we'll see I tend to like really put a lot of concealer on but I'm not setting anything because I haven't been doing that but plus this is a complete cream base situation so we shall see almost poked myself in the eye wow this is a very full coverage, I can already tell, but it's very creamy, and that's like why I didn't buy it sooner. I was afraid it was going to be too creamy for my liking, but we'll see. And I definitely have to apply concealer with a sponge, not a brush. I think my sponge is stained. I did clean it with my sponge cleaner before I started this video, but like, I the stuff wouldn't come off it. And, I'm like afraid to put it on my under eye. Can you imagine if my under eye turned out pink because of it? Like, what the heck? Oh, this is the Juno & Co Cloud Sponge. Literally one of my favorite sponges. It actually may not be too light on me. I think it actually complements the color of the foundation really well. It looks really nice. It gives me a really nice sheen, but not like, not like a shiny sheen either. It's really pretty. I'm gonna do my under eyes real quick. Probably just taking the same shades, but I'm really nervous that there's gonna be a lot of fallout everywhere. I'm gonna be very careful, but I'm starting with the purple. Oh my god, already. Yep, that's freaking amazing. <sighs> I, the thing is, I can't ever do my under eyes first. I just can't. If any of you have any suggestions, let me know because I'm at a loss. All right, I'm gonna take the pink under that and just blend that. I think I might have a new favorite concealer, and I haven't found a new favorite concealer since Tarte Shape Tape. Oh, wait, no. Dose of Colors is really good too, but. This is like seriously giving it a run for its money. It looks so pretty on my under eyes. I mean, ignore this because I have so much fallout there. It's ridiculous right now. I'm gonna do the yellow now. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush and just lightly sweep it without like barely touching. And hopefully that takes it out. Yep, no, it just blended it in. That's great. So I'm just gonna pat my beauty blender over it. I I'm seriously obsessed with this concealer so far. Let's see how it looks in a few hours though. Let me like not give it my complete and utter devotion yet. I'm gonna take a little bit of the white shade in the inner corner of my eye. Actually, this brightens up the inner corners quite nicely. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my brow bone for good measure. We're gonna move on to like one of my favorite parts. Something I was super excited to try out was the new Fenty Beauty bronzer and blush. We're going to start with the bronzer. I got the shade Amber. Of course, I ordered this before watching Rob Beauty Christie's video where she says Amber is just way too, like, gray looking. I did want this as a contour. Like, that's why I bought it, like, to make sure I had a contour. But Jesus, this is, like, super gray. I'm going to test this out anyway. I did swatch it. Like, look. I just watched it in my haul video. It is super gray. But... That's what makes it a good contour shade. I do have another contour to try out and I might like double dip because this one I feel like is a little bit less gray toned and I don't think it's much of a contour shade to be honest. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. We're gonna start with the Fenty one because I wanna use it as a contour. All right, I'm gonna take it directly on my sponge and see how it looks. Okay, I'm scared. Cream products like freak me out. That's why I wasn't like so, I was hyped about this cause I mean, I don't know. It's Fenty and I love Fenty, but I'm also like really scared. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely super gray. Okay, so far I'm really liking it. I am curious to see how long it lasts on the skin cause I've heard a lot of people kind of complaining about that. Like it doesn't really last as long as they would like. So we're gonna take some on the forehead cause your girl has a five head. It's like really light and like, I don't know, it's, it doesn't, it's kind of sheer, but that's a good thing because you want to be able to build it up. You don't want something that's so pigmented and then you're like, oh my God, how do I blend this out? I'm done with that because I think it just looks too gray. I wish I'd gotten another color. I don't know. Let's try this one. Maybe it'll even out the grayness. Yeah, it definitely warms it up a little bit. Yeah, I definitely prefer 
the shade of the milk bronzer i don't know about the formula i'd have to try them separately and see i'm kind of loving cream bronzers right now we're going into summer you know i have two blushes to try out too one's from fenty and the other one's from tower 28 which everyone was talking about these i really really wanted to get the cream bronzer as well but sold out when i went to buy this one we're actually going to double dip these two because why not i want to try them both so this is the tower 28 blush it's so freaking stunning i did swatch it in my haul video but we're gonna do it again because why not apparently it's also a lip tint like you could also put this on your lips like a balm i'm pretty sure you could do that with the fancy ones too it just doesn't really say that these are so freaking tiny i did show this in my haul video and i did a size comparison this is ridiculous but the thing is this one's 20 dollars, and then this one is i don't remember how much but i think it's more expensive we're gonna try this one first let's watch it it's so pretty um i'm a little nervous hopefully it's not so pigmented oh that's so stunning look at that look at that oh this is the shade summertime wine which I didn't notice at the time that I purchased this, how like pigmented it was, like how bright it would be, but I don't really care. I live for a bright blush. Wow, it's not stunning, but it's stunning. So I'm just gonna dip it a little bit. Like, I don't know if it's really gonna, ooh, whoa. It did make kind of a difference, but oh my gosh, I'm kind of living for this. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Oh my gosh, both of these together are so stunning. Okay, I'm gonna stop obsessing over this real quick because I definitely, like, what? I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's so pretty. Oh, I also have this Patrick Ta blush, but I'm gonna do this another time since I decided to do this full face of cream products. Okay, I have a couple of cream highlighters. Cream slash liquid. I used to own this a long time ago, but I decluttered it a while ago because it was quite old. This is from Benefit. They did send this over in PR with their welcome package. I got like all of the OG Benefit stuff, which I'm so thankful for. But this is the Benefit What's Up, What's Up highlighter. I haven't used this in so long. I want to see if I still like it. Look at the swatch. It's so stunning, guys. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just put it on the high points of my cheeks super pretty but i do have another one that we're gonna just layer everything here why not this is the iconic london illuminator this is the original i did own this previously but i got this in boxycharm recently and i've been loving it and it's a liquid highlight it's not a cream but same thing very similar this one's more bam in your face so i definitely want to layer that over the other one that i just put on if you like a subtle highlight you'll definitely like the what's up but what's up i want to say what's up what's up oh my gosh like guys i'm so glowy i'm obsessed i'm obsessed oh i need some chin highlights someone the other day commented on my instagram post on my picture saying that chin highlight is doing something to me <laughs> so weird for lips obviously i'm not i i wanted to use a tower 28 but i also have these pat mcgrath lip liners that i mean i'm not gonna lie to you i've already tried this a few times and i've been loving it like i'm at the point where i already need to sharpen it which it comes with a sharpener if you saw my haul video i com i didn't complain but i talked about we discussed the fact that the packaging is so bougie that probably ups the price of the lip liners each one comes with a sharpener the packaging is really bougie and i just think that if they like made the packaging not so bougie that they could lower their prices a little bit but that's just me so this is the shade contour and i'm just gonna use this on my lips today look at this it's such a beautiful and creamy lip liner it's also my perfect everyday nude i actually don't like the way it sharpened for some reason but it's so creamy and it like lines everything so nicely i'm gonna take the m cosmetics what is this called i never remember i don't know the exact name of this i wish it was on the packaging i'm not gonna lie but I'm gonna take this over top. Wow, it matches so perfectly. <laughs> I'm definitely living for the glossy lip situation though. So I'm gonna take a gloss. This is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine is what it's called. And she's expensive. And I'm just gonna put that over top because I've been loving glossy lips. And I think that this look needs a glossy lip. I do have one more thing to test out. This is also from Urban Decay. They did send this over in PR. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter environmental defense makeup setting spray so this gives you an up to a 16 hour wear lightweight temperature control technology so that's really interesting i'm not entirely sure i believe that like i think it's a marketing gimmick to be honest but i did want to test it out anyway because i haven't it's been sitting here for a long time i'm going to do a wear test on how the blush and the bronzer last as well as how my brows last the Urban decay brows that i used earlier so we're gonna see oh 
Hmm. The sprayer is a little bit more in your face than the original all nighter. The Urban Decay All Nighter is like literally my favorite setting spray. So we're gonna see how this one compares. And yeah, let me go put on lashes and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. I'm really quite obsessed with this eye look. And I think that everything that I tried has been a win for me. It's insane. I don't think I've ever had so many products that I've actually loved. Like so far, everything is looking really nice. But I do want to do a wear test. So I'm gonna keep this makeup on for the rest of the day. It is now 226. I've been filming for two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll come back in like a few hours. And yeah, I will see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so it is now at 9:30 p.m. This has been on my face for like seven hours and I am not 100% sure how I feel about everything. I'm gonna go through each thing now and just let you know I look rough right now. I'm so sorry. I'm about to be able to take off my makeup, take a shower and go to sleep. Like I'm done with this day. I've just been editing and doing some work for the past seven hours. Like literally I have not stopped. I mean I stopped to eat dinner and that's it. <laughs> like it's crazy. So a couple of things. I don't think I like the primer all that much. I think it made my foundation look super cakey and weird in some areas especially right here. I definitely want to try the foundation concealer combo with a primer that i actually love which is the tatcha tatcha primers are the best like whatever the blush bronzer and highlighter look amazing they still are going strong i'm still not sure how i feel about the brows i don't know i don't know how i like them today they're not my favorite looking brows i've done but they have lasted me all day i definitely want to try that product with a different technique like just doing the st straight brow or something and seeing how i like it like that but everything lasted a really like long time but it doesn't look so good like if you saw me in person you'd be like ew like right now i look i look janky obsessed with this bronzer highlight and blush combo though for sure the whole cream products situation love it and yeah that's it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up i also hope you'll consider subscribing before you go and i will see you guys in my next video bye